We're here in Cape Yang in the beautiful province of New Ireland of Papua New Guinea. Where the betel nut is plentiful and cheap. And we have a friend here, Julie, who's gonna teach us how to pick and chew the betel nut the right way, the real way. So Julie, how do we do this? What's the first thing to look for in a good betel nut? You can see that on top of the skin is smooth. Smooth. The skin is smooth, the, yes. the actual nut inside, the skin is smooth. That's how you know it's uh, ripe? Yes, and color is white inside. White? Yes. <coughs> Which part is white? Yeah. Inside. Inside the nut? Yeah. Okay. What do you do once I get the beetle nut? You need the mustard and the lime for it, right? Yes. So Julie, how do I open the beetle nut? Rip of this. Like this That's all with my teeth. Yeah. There we go. Did I do a good job? Yes. Yeah. And now we just. Can break it. Now we just eat. Take it out. The whole thing? The whole thing. No. It's um. Uh, very bitter, very chalky. Yeah. Yeah. Everything? The juice. But there is no juice because it dries. Okay. <laughs> it dries out my mouth completely. <laughs> we pour it inside the lime. Like that? Enough? Yeah. <laughs> No, I keep chewing yes. until, until it's red. red. Until it's red. Not, not red yet. Not red yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How long does that take? Oh, quite well, some minutes. <laughs> don't swallow. Yeah, yes. Don't swallow it. <laughs> yeah, 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 like no. yeah, yeah. I'm getting dizzy. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> 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 don't swallow it. It feels like I got up from bed very, very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't feel like this every time you chew. Every time you get used to it, you get used to it. I painted the sidewalk properly, the PNG way. Yeah, yeah, I really need some water now. Yeah, can somebody get me some water? <laughs> Why do people get dizzy? Well, I think it's just a combination of all this uh, the lime and the little nut itself. Just relax. Just relax. All right. Dizzy, nauseous, weak, uh, hot, sweating. Yeah. It's my first time. I feel the, the same thing. What age was the first time? I think I'm 10 years old. When you first started? Yes. So that was my third time chewing betel nut, but my first time with a loco telling me how to do it. And it was by far the worst experience. I don't understand how the people here can chew this so many times a day, every day. Uh, I guess they just get used to it but it's not something I ever want to do again in my life. Um, but I encourage everybody in New Guinea to at least try it once to see what it's like.